So I'm going to talk about the co cooperation collaboration between the librarians and our uh, student technology assistants in addition to our technical assistant. My colleague Reham, who is the STA's coordinator, we work a lot together. In addition to all my colleagues and friends who, and students who contributed to this questionnaire, I, I did and came up with this presentation. So this is our learning commons in just a normal hour. This is our learning commons when it's a bit busy. And this is when it's really busy and people are chatting and having social conversations. This is when they are studying or working on the computers and you could see that they are really working with Facebook and other social networks in addition to their studies. Um, the study scope here is going to talk about the current professional transitions and re relocation of our work. This is how we looked like back in the 70s where we used to have the car catalog and only one person doing the job. Then we moved to having librarians behind a desk and then we have helper or we, we call them part-timers who can work with us and help with the uh, delivering the um, the um, service to our patrons. Uh, this is how our learning comments looks like now, where it's equipped with technology, screen to display what's going on, what are the activities, workshops, who is working and what's happening in our library. The desk is staffed with different categories. We have librarians, we have STAs, which is the student technology assistance in addition to the technical assistance. This is how the service is done, two sides, but in the middle we have the technology to communicate through. The research questions had three main questions and they were asked to five categories. Actually these three questions were what's the role of the librarians, what's the role of our STAs, and what's the role of the technical assistants. And that was given to the librarians themselves helping at the help desk, in addition to the STAs giving service to the technical assistants serving at the desk, in addition to students who are coming to or approaching the desk to have questions, in addition to the neighbor staff librarians. So this is the service that's giving by librarians and the question was asked to them, the results came from librarians themselves that our job is to assist the patrons in their inquiries, do whatever we can to get them the answer, go into in-depth research questions to get to dig for questions for the answers and give it to them. We help them to learn how to do the research strategy, not just give them, feed them with the information, but teach them how to do the job, how to find the information using different technologies. Also, we respond to inquiries behind Library One Search. Library One Search is an easy tool, just give the answer right away. So we try to teach them what other ways they could use and instead of using just one tool. They can go dig for printed materials as well. Not everything is available online, but we do have precious printed books that they need to learn about and use as well. We contribute in the meanwhile to the training of our STAs who help at the desk because we want them to be well trained to be able to answer basic questions and more advanced questions as well. For STAs, they see us exactly as we see ourselves. So there's no confusion here. But when we come to students, the students come to the desk, approach the desk, they have a question. They really don't distinguish who's a librarian and who's a technical assistant and who is student technical assistant. So what they do is just come, ask the questions, expect to get what they need. So they say, the librarians, when we go to the desk, they help us with any related question. They provide the assistance to us all. They, do always they are always ready to help and give us the answers. For other staff members around us, in addition to the technical assistance helping at the desk, they give more uh, detailed answers as they know 
exactly what we do after we leave the desk, because we have a desk rota, so we're not at the desk all the time, but we exchange the desk hours. So it's like others wouldn't know what we do. They think we should be at the desk all the time, helping others, but actually we do have our other jobs to do back in the offices. So our colleagues knew that. So in short, they said we are specialized research, we answer specialized research questions, and solve almost all the problems in addition to other work we do. For the STA's role at the help desk, normally we would have one to two at the desk to assess with different types of questions, but mainly librarians said that they do help and support our department because they give us time to do other things. If they are at the desk, so we have time to do other things as well. They answer basic routine work, um, questions related to the library website, research, and they can help with answering any type of question, but not really the in-depth research questions. They help students as much as possible in directions, in how to go to their classes, because they are on the same level or they are peers, so they are more welcome to con communicate and they can perceive what other students want to ask. So they help with that. In addition, they do direct people the patrons, if they don't know the answer for a certain question, they are trained to transfer this question to a specialized librarian. So they direct patrons to others to answer the questions. They do assist with all the technology software programs that's available for, the te for class technologies. So they help with all different sorts of softwares related to their classes and the use of technology. Uh, in addition, they work on promoting the programs and the softwares they are um, using so other students would come and have training with them because they do offer workshops for students. The SCAs themselves, they perceive themselves as they, they, they do guide and assist and train students with the questions that's regarding their own uh, classwork and the technology used in classes. They provide answers to general directional inquiries. They help students with the use of the tools we have like scanners and printers. For students, actually, we, as I said before, that they really don't distinguish or they di don't differentiate between SCA or a librarian or a technical assistant. So they don't know exactly what, what's the difference between the different the, the categories. So the answers came a bit um, not expected, but it's expected at the same time because, as I said, they really want to have their job done and that's it. So they come and ask. So actually some of them recognized who we are and who are our STAs. So they said we provide training for, for the STAs provide the training for both students and faculty. And actually this is true, but there is a hidden part here. They don't only train the students and faculty, but they do train us as well. Because these are tools that we're not trained on, so we need to know them. So they do give workshops and we do attend like others. So we learn the technology we don't need, or we not necessarily, we would be using it, but at least we'll be aware of the new technology that's used in classes. For other staff members and the technical assistant, they said they solve any technical problems which is not the right thing. Actually, they don't solve the technical problems, but they do help with the technology. They do offer supplies because, you know, we, we, ha we need to have our patrons please. So we give them whiteboard markers, if they need a pen, paper clips, things like that. Very simple things, but make our patrons happy. So they help the library users and direct them to whatever they need. Help us, again, in the rush hours. And this is true. Without them, actually, we would have been in big trouble because we do have lots of patrons and traffic in the learning comments is very high. For the technical assistants, actually, themse themselves, they do help with lots of things, but we can't mention everything, but here it is. But 
deal exclusively with the technical and troubleshooting of any of the equipment that's available in the whole library, not just in the learning commons. But the priority is for the learning commons, then they can go and assess with any other problems. And one of the comments really was really funny, that one of the students said, the technical assistants, gamed awi, which, which means it's very helpful, they do a very great job. In summary, actually, we used to do help desk hours, 4 to 14 hours a day. Now it came down to 2 to 4, which is really a good thing. We work seven, seven and a half hours to 8, sometimes we work 11 hours a day, but now it's really limited at the help desk, which gives us more time to learn the new technology. It's required to, to learn the technology, so this gives us time to go on our own and learn that, or go for the workshops and learn more. And this gives us more time to communicate with our patrons through the different mediums, through the new technology, through Facebook, Twitter, no, not yet, but some departments, they do use Twitter. So we use more of Facebook, emails, and chat. So the social network integrated to our service, so the SDAs mainly, they do monitor the wiki in addition to the, le to the reference chat. So they do the chat while they are on the desk because it's since the beginning till the end, we have an STA at least to respond to the chats online. For us as librarians, we work with the Facebook, with the emails. And, uh, actually, our job now is getting bigger and bigger and responsibilities are getting higher. So we have to become jack of all trade. So we have to know everything. Uh, in conclusion, with the availability of our STAs and technical assistants, we have more time to do other good jobs. STAs, let them help us as much as possible. So they benefit and we do benefit as well. Actually, um, to solve some of the problems that we face, like students that they don't know what's an STA. So we try to overcome this by advertising who are our STAs. So at least they know STAs' faces, then the rest would be librarians. So this is displayed all the time on the screen, so it's changing. And then we tell them what's an STA because they said, what's an STA? So this is an abbreviation, it's not known for everyone. So we told them, STA means Student Technology Assistance, and this is what they help with. In addition to that, they give workshops on all these learning tools. So actually, we're proud of our STAs, we give them a good training before they start the job. It runs for a whole week, and we, te we teach them how to use those tools in addition to how to answer reference questions. We give them extensive training on how to find sources. Then they are out at the desk with our monitoring and further help on the job. And normally we celebrate our semester at the end and we all feel happy to be able to serve our community. So we're always not fighting, Fighting. Thank you.